Adventure bikes are really a collection of unlikely design features borrowed from the 1200 and 1200 and Euro. The 950, for instance, is a straight-up street machine with nothing in the way of off-road capabilities, yet it retains a bird that speak front fender reminiscent of the true dual surface bikes over a street-ish front fender. A tiered, angular fender comes with cheeks that act as a radiator cowl to protect the rad and funnel cooling air. Typical of the breed, the fuel tank rides high on the frame ahead of the precipitous drop to the rider's saddle and subsequent tries to the stadium pillion seat with a grab rail, luggage hardpoint at the ass end of the subframe. The tail light housing is neatly tucked away under the trailing edge. But the gains made by doing that were immediately squandered on the standoff style turn signals, probably a requirement of the motor vehicle regulations. Oh well, it ain't he like you are liable to encounter a lot of brush trying to mow the signals off, and if you are, you're redoing it wrong. By contrast, the front turn signals are molded into the hand guards for an ultra clean installation. Pullback bars and mid mount foot controls define a relaxed rider triangle and seat options provide a butt altitude range of 32.3 to 33.9 inches high. Windshield height is adjustable on the fly for another layer of body type accommodation, making the 950 easy for the riding public to make friends with.